Hello everyone, welcome to this new video on Gradients Plus. In this video, we are going to look at time and work. We are going to solve LOD level 1 questions. We will probably solve about 10 to 15 questions in this video. So if you have the same book, I am currently referring, referring to Arun Sharma. Uh, so you can refer to the same book, you can start solving the LOD 1 questions. So in this video, I'm going to solve randomly 10 to 15 questions from LOD1 of time and work. Now, I always believe that instead of, you know, learning concepts over and over again, you should start solving question as soon as possible. And you should learn the concepts through the questions instead of learning qu concepts on its own. It's better to solve questions and then, you know, get some learning from those questions. So in this video, let us try to find some questions and I will try to give the concepts using the questions. So let's get started. So let's look at the first question. So if you are completely new to the time and work, you can refer this video because in this video, as I said earlier, I'll be restricting myself for LOD one questions. So it might be very easy for some of you. So if you can skip this video, so let's read the first question. So Raju can do a 25% piece of work in five days. Now, if Raju is doing 25% of the work in 5 days, he will be completing the work in 20 days. So, in how many days he will complete the work which is 10 times? It is very straightforward question. It is 200 days. So, we will not spend more, uh, more time on this question. We will move ahead. So, let's uh, read second question. 6 men can do piece of work in 12 days. So if you get such question, you always, uh, you know, convert the question in men days or women days. So in this case, we have men and days. So we will multiply that 6 and 12. So this is man days. So this is my total number amount of work. Now, how many men are needed to complete that in 18 days? So just equate that to X into 18 because X is the number of men we, we need and 18 is the number of days. So just calculate this, you will get x as 4. So let's get third question. A can do a piece of work in 20 days and B can do in 15 days. If they work together, how many days they will, in how many days they will complete the work. So if you want to use percentage method, you just need to convert this number into percentage. Now, if A is doing a work in 20 days, in one day, he will complete 100 divided by 20, that is 5% of the work, okay. Similarly, B is, similarly, B is completing the work in 15 days. In one day, he will complete 100 divided by 15, 6.67% of the work. Now, imagine if they are working together. If A and B are working together, in one day, they will complete 5% plus 6.67%, which is 11.67%. In one day, A and B will complete 11.67% of the work. So they will complete the work in 8, 4 by 7 days. You just have to divide 100 by 11.67 again. Let's look at question number 4. In question 3, C finishes the same work in 25 days. Okay. So if C is finishing the work in 25 days, that means in one day, C is doing 4% of the work, 20, 100 divided by 25. Right now, if they are working together, okay, so that means in one day they will complete 5 plus 6.67 plus 4, so this will be 15.67. So, both A, B, and C will complete the whole work in 100 divided by 15.67, which will be roughly about 6 point something. So, answer is A. Okay, let's read the fifth one and uh, Nishu and Archana can do a piece of work in 10 days. Okay, so both um, when they are working together, they are taking 10 days. That means in one day they are complete 10, completing 10 percentage of the work. If Nishu alone is, alone takes 12 percentage, if Nishu alone takes 12 percentage, that means Nishu can do 8.33 percentage of the work in one day. That means if you subtract 8.33 from 10, you will get the amount of work done by Archana in one day. That will be what? That will be 2 point, sorry, 1.67. Then 
that means if uh, a is doing 1.67 percentage of the work in one day she will complete the whole work in 100 divided by 1.67 which will be roughly about 60 days let's read sixth question a uh, baba alone can do a piece of work in 10 days that means he is doing 10 percentage of the work in one day and anshu alone can do in 15 days again it will be 6.67 percentage if the total wages of the work is 50 how much should baba be paid if they work for the entire duration of the work now imagine you have total money to be distributed as 50 let's say 50 rupees b is doing 10 percent of the work in one day and a is doing 6.61 percentage of the work in one day in order to find this you need to find total percentage work done right so in one day they will be completing what 16.67 percentage of the work uh, so how many days they will require to complete the work it will roughly require six days right because 100 divided by 16.67 percentage will get six days so if b is working six days and per day he is doing 10 percentage of the work that means a is completing total 60 percentage of the work that means he is entitled to 60 percentage of the total reward or total wage total wage is 50 60 percentage of the 50 is what 30 so your answer is a 30 that means baba should get 30 rupees let's read question number seven four men three women so four men three women can finish the job in six days now six days can i convert it into percentage 100 divided by 6 16.67 percentage what does this mean this means that four men and three women when they are working together in one day they are completing 16.67 percentage of the work similarly when five men and seven women are working together they are complete the work in four days that means in one day they are completing 25 percentage of the work now you have two equations two unknowns you need to find one man and one woman okay so using these two equations how can we arrive at one man and one woman equation so let's multiply the equation number one with two we'll get eight men and six women will be around 34 percentage around 34 if not exactly 34 just add it we will get 13 men plus 13 women is equal to 59 percentage so one man plus one woman will be equal to four point something so that means one man and one woman will take something less than 25 days to complete the work there is only one option that is option number a 22 2 by 7 days uh, look at the last question for this uh, session so eight boys eight boys and 12 women can do a piece of work in 25 days can i say four percentage of the work done in how many days can the work be done by six boys and 11 women so if you have one equation and two unknowns you cannot find the data hence answer to this question is cannot be determined or data insufficient so I hope you find percentage method helpful and useful for solving the time and work questions. Trust me, it is very effective method if you are well versed with it. But before using percentage method, you need to make sure few things. So before using the percentage method, you, you need to know the conversion of fractions to percentage. That means 1 by 2, it is 50%. 1 by 3, 33.33%. Similarly, you need to know the conversion still at least 1 by 12 if not till 1 by 15 so if you are good with the fraction to percentage uh, conversions then you can use percentage method very effectively and solve any difficulty questions from time and work so i hope this video was useful make sure you comment below and subscribe to the channel thank you